Hello everyone. Uh, this is a demonstration of a Tiva C uh, microcontroller, the launch pad, uh, with a uh, MCP9808 digital temperature sensor. Um, the the communication uh, between the two is over I square C, which is a two wire bus uh, bus communication. There are lots of information on I square C in terms of how to use it, so I will not uh, get into that. There's a lot of information about that. So basically, I use a data sheet, uh, the, the temperature sensor data sheet, which you can find online, to um, access uh, different registers on the temperature sensor to, to, to indicate what information I want. Now, um, over, once the, the information gets to the microcontroller, I send it over to the computer using uh, UART, using the UART port, serial port, and it's being displayed over the TerraTerm. Um, I use the uh, IAR Embedded Workbench IDE, and I also use the Texas Instrument uh, uh, per uh, Peripheral uh, Device Drivers. Now, and I also have the code available as well. Um, you know, the code is there, but, yet, you know, in order to understand I2C, um, you need to understand that not only the peripherals, but you have to, you have to get the data sheet for the uh, T to C um, uh, microcontroller as well. So that, that'll, that'll help you understand uh, the functionality. So, um, so basically, in this particular uh, exercise, I'm asking for, um, and I will we'll restart this in a minute, but what I'm asking for is the device ID for uh, the uh, temperature sensor. I'm asking for the uh, uh, manufacturer ID, and then I'm asking for it to send me temperature data. Okay. So I'm going to reset the microcontroller, and we'll start all over again. And you could do this for any sensor you, um, over I square C, but you have to under, you have to read the uh, data sheet for that particular sensor. So starting all over again. Program start. I'm putting in some delays so you can see. So I square C is initialized. Communicating with the te uh, temperature sensor. I'm transmitting to slave address to send me the device ID. So I got the, the device ID from the slave device, which is 54. Now I'm asking for the manufacturer ID, which is 40. And that, you will find that in the data sheet for the uh, temperature sensor as well. Now I'm asking for the ambient temperature. So right now, um, it's going to give me the, uh, the degrees in Celsius, and I convert it to uh, Fahrenheit. And I'm in sunny California, so it is it is about uh, 77 degrees right now in 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 this particular uh, room. And like I said, you could do this for any sensor. You just have to understand the, the sensor, and then uh, look at the actual code as well. Thank you very much. This is fun to do. I finally figured out how to do I square C. So it's always nice. So later on, basically, you could take this information, and if uh, if I had a uh, uh, a wireless MCU, a Wi-Fi, then I could send it over the internet, and I could read the temperature sensor uh, data from anywhere else. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this is useful. Thank you. Have a good day.